Today is about you. I know what it feels like to sit on a bench. I know what it feels like to get knocked down. I know what it feels like to have a hope and a dream. And nobody believes in it but a few people. But here's what I know. Hi, this is Walter Bond, and welcome to Peak Performance Life. All we're talking about right now is committing to excellence. We have 31 truths, and all these truths are important, but I'm telling you one thing. If you want to be a peak performer, if you want to increase revenue, if you want to get a promotion, you have got to commit to excellence. Every day you go to work, your personal brand is on the line. Every time you send an email, your personal brand is on the line. Every time a customer comes into your store, every time they call you on the phone, every time they visit your website, your brand is on the line. Smart people who commit to excellence are always one step ahead. They are always thinking, what is my customer thinking? In the engagement, while they're using your product in real time, ask yourself the question, what are they thinking? If you can get a step ahead of that and always know what they're thinking, you can be such a servant-based culture, such a servant-based centered, um, customer-centered organization, and that's what where the really the revenue generation is. One of the biggest mistakes business people make is that they focus too much on money. Now I get that the end result and why we're in business is to make money, but if we focus on money, in many cases, we cannot become a centered, uh, customer-centered type organization. So what you need to focus on, in my opinion, is to focus on your customer. Your customer needs to get your undivided attention because your customer is the one who has the resources that can make the bottom line say ching, ching, ching. So if you focus on money, sometimes you cheat out the customer. I want you to make sure that you have a centered, servant-based culture and always know what your customers are seeing, thinking, always know what your employees are thinking. I've seen companies and organizations so strong, so committed to excellence that customers are conditioned to wait. What do I mean by that? Have you ever tried to get hired or work with a top consultant? A top consultant, a worldwide consultant. It's hard to get on a calendar. Why? Because there is such demand, you have to wait. Have you ever been to a top-notch restaurant? and walk right in and sit down? No, you typically have to put your name on the waiting list or even make a reservation. Why? They are so committed to excellence. They've created such a strong, phenomenal brand that people are willing to wait just to enjoy their service. Now, as you grow your business, you have a success, you have a new business opportunity, you have a new idea, here's what I recommend. Don't launch a new feature, don't launch a new brand, don't launch that new opportunity until you know it's gonna be just as excellent as the other offerings you already offer. Here's why. If you wanna be excellent, everything you do has got to be excellent. I recommend you do nothing and be patient until you can make sure any new offering or any new business unit is excellent. Because every day, in every way, your brand is on the line. If you are committed to excellent, I'm telling you one thing, you gotta pay attention to detail. I've never been around excellence who did not pay attention to detail. I had a teammate who was a Hall of Fame ball player. He paid attention to detail. Every day for his career, he went to a chiropractor four times a day on game day. His name is John Stock. Hall of Fame basketball player. He paid attention to detail. Have you ever been to a high-end car dealership? Have you ever been to a high-end clothing store? They pay attention to detail. They even have sitting and waiting areas. They have water available. Some of them you walk in, you can even get champagne. They pay attention to every little detail and every time you engage their product or their service, they're excellent and you have a phenomenal experience. One thing I love about high-end shops, they don't talk about deals. They don't even talk about value. They make sure that they give you something that is top notch, quality, top of the line. And in some cases, even though you pay a little bit more, the fact that it's higher quality, sometimes there's a better deal because it's gonna last longer, you're gonna enjoy it more, and it's gonna have more bells, whistles, and features because it's a high-end model, it's a high-end brand. I'm telling you one thing, if you think about your personal brand, we all have labels because we have worked in corporate America, you have engaged customers and clients. Right now, I want you to understand your company, your organization, and you already have a brand. Now, if you think about it, what do you want your brand to represent as a person? Do we want people to call you dedicated, committed, loyal, trustworthy? Or do you want people to call you flaky, inconsistent, not reliable, 
mediocre, subpar. Which of these adjectives sound better, right? Of course you know what sounds better. You want to be considered committed, loyal, excellent, uh, um, trustworthy. And you have a chance every single day as an employee, as a professional, and as a company to build this kind of brand because you want to be consistent in your brand. Now, with that being said, I want to encourage you to commit to excellence. Every time you engage your coworker, every time you engage a client or a customer, you have got to commit to excellence because if you do that every day and in every way, over time, people will wait for you and get in line and pay top dollar to enjoy your product, your service, or to hire you as a professional. This has been Peak Performance Life. Welcome to this huddle and commit to excellence. When I hear the sound of that whistle, it takes me back in time when I learned how to become a peak performer. When I played college basketball, my coach would blow that whistle and he would call all my teammates in and in this huddle, he would motivate us, he would inspire us, he would teach us, he would correct us, and the reality is this, he called my name more in that huddle than anybody else's name. Here's why. He saw tremendous potential in me that was trapped and buried and he wouldn't let it die in me and he brought it out until I became an NBA player. In that huddle, I learned how to develop and become a peak performer. I learned two things, that peak performance is a process, but most importantly, peak performance is a team sport. I would not have reached my potential without my coach investing time and energy into my development. So here's what we've done for you. We created what we call Peak Performance Huddle. In this huddle, we want to do the same exact thing. We want to motivate you, we want to inspire you, we want to teach you, we want to even make you laugh. But the bottom line, every ounce of potential on the inside of you, I'm coming to get it and I'm not going to stop until we pull it out. In this huddle, we're going to have webinars, we're going to have success tools, we're going to have interviews with successful people. We're also going to do phone calls, live phone calls where you can hear my voice live, ask me questions, because in this huddle, the number one job, my my number one job is to help you reach your potential. We have two choices. You can do the automated coaching program, which is very cost effective. It can be available to you 24-7, 365. Or another option, you can do a huddle that's one-on-one -on -one with me. That's right, me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, and we're not going to stop until you reach your potential. Your job. Your only job is to make it to the huddle. If you make it to the huddle, we'll do the rest. Sign up and register and get to the huddle and Walter Bond will be there waiting on you and we're gonna help you reach that potential that's inside of you.